Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. While arguments were presented in the Dave Davis case before the district court Thursday morning, the conversation continued well into the evening at the University of Guam Lecture Hall. Attorney Levin Camacho. The entire argument centered on this definition of native inhabitants of Guam, which is anybody who became a U.S. citizen by virtue of the enactment of the Organic Act of Guam and their descendants. The discussion couldn't be more fitting as the UOG Division of Social Work and Chamorro Studies program hosted the latest in their community forum series on the decolonization process. It's a topic Nick McLeland knows all too well as he's written widely on the issues pertaining to the decolonization process in New Caledonia. The journalist and researcher was the guest speaker for the forum. It's an interesting situation because New Caledonia will move to a referendum on its political status in just two years' time, in late 2018, the date hasn't been set, but under the political agreement, which I'll explain tonight, a referendum is due to be held by the end of 2018, which could potentially lead to independence and sovereignty, or could lead to a new relationship within the French Republic. McLeland, who actually sat through the hearings of the Dave Davis case on Thursday, said like Guam, New Caledonia is a multi-ethnic society that is also facing its own set of struggles. The resonance of what's been discussed in New Caledonia is exactly the same. And while the definition of native inhabitant is heard in court and who exactly is permitted to register for the plebiscite, he says New Caledonia has also voting restrictions for local political institutions for only citizens of New Caledonia and not all French nationals. And at the last elections in 2014, 23,000 people, the vast majority of the French, European French nationals, were ineligible to vote for these local political institutions. Um, and they don't like it. He adds French nationals have brought the matter to court three times and lost three times as well. Because all three of those bodies said that this is a decolonization process and that under international law, it is legitimate to place restrictions on voting in a colonial complex as part of the decolonization process. And just as the forum aims at helping students develop a better understanding of decolonization, McLeland encouraged the young generation to participate in ultimately deciding Guam's political future. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.